Hi, I'm Dr. Rob Ritter. I practice in South Florida, Jupiter, Florida specifically, and I'm here to share a tip with you to make things a little bit easier on a daily basis. We all do a lot of screw retain temporaries, and two of the tricks that I want to share with you when I fabricate a screw retain temporary for a patient on an immediate implant, the first thing would be that when you are using the matrix over the uh, abutment, the temporary cylinder, uh, you want to make sure that you can clearly see uh, the access hole. And one of the ways that we do that is by taking a cotton pellet and using a black magic marker, keeping the cotton pellet that's blackened very close to the top of the cylinder so that after you take off your matrix to reveal your provisional on top of your cylinder, you can see through the lingual of the temporary crown and see the dark mark. That's the place that you would use your burr to access through. Pull out the cotton pellet to find your screw to remove it, to remove your uh, temporary cylinder along with your provisional crown. The second tip I like to use is after you've fabricated your provisional crown, your screw retained temp, and you go to put it in the mouth, you'll go ahead and tighten down your screw, and then you'll put some sort of a cotton pellet over the top of the screw hole. Normally we fill up the access hole with flowable composite. Well, one of the tricks is if the temporary crown is an A1, I use a very dark temporary flowable, like an A3 and a half in the lingual access hole. And the reason I do that is when I have to go back in and retrieve the screw, a few months later after the implant is integrated, it's very easy to find where the access hole is. If you use the same color temporary material, it's very difficult. You won't be able to find it. So if you use a very dark flowable material behind the lingual, you'll easily be able to find the access hole. Hope this helps you out.